It's All Things Considered, and I'm Dave Lawrence. Today, it's Rock and Roll Hall of Famer's The Moody Blues, an original bassist, vocalist, and songwriter John Lodge, who wrote some of their biggest tracks, including I'm Just a Singer in a Rock and Roll Band and Ride My Seesaw. He's got a new compilation, Beyond the Very Best Of, with deeper cuts, new recordings, solo and Moody Blues stuff, live material, remix tracks. He even does some winemaking, apparently, when not busy rocking. We welcome Moody Blues legend John Lodge now to the show. John, welcome and aloha. Yeah, I, how you doing, Dave? <laughs> What's going on, brother? Hello, it's you. Oh, I haven't been to Hawaii for some time. I'm feeling quite jealous, actually. <laughs> hey, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and this release, uh, Beyond, the very best of, John. Yeah, I was approached by BMG. I got excited about going back in the studio again. And I said, I've been playing on stage deep cuts from my albums from, uh, say, Days of Future Past, Evening Time to Get Away. And I thought it'd be really nice to get back in the studio and record them as though I've recorded them today. So I started looking at some other deep cuts and uh, I realized I've written a song called Street Cafe and was never released in the USA. Then I thought it'd be really good to go back to Natural Avenue so I went and found the original 24 tracks and baked them because, you know, they probably wouldn't play properly anymore, baked them, <laughs> right. digitized them, and went back in the studio and remixed them. And basically, that's how I put the album together. You mentioned baking the original tapes. Now, for the folks listening, try to explain to them what you're talking about. Well, a, a tape has got a magnetic field on it which records everything, and these are oxidizers. If the tape is really old, sitting in a vault somewhere for like 30 years, 40 years, <laughs> the oxidation takes place as the tape is in a roll. You can imagine it's all sticking together. And once you play it once, you'll probably lose a lot of the sound. So what you do, you bake it, which holds it all in situ for really one play. And then you record that digitally, so you've kept an uh, exact copy of what is on the tape. And this project also involved paying tribute to fellow original Moody Blues member flute player Ray Thomas, who passed away in 2018. Take us back to first meeting Ray. Well, I met Ray when I was probably 14. I got on a bus. I saw this guy stand on the bus, and I said to him, don't you play in a pop band at the church hall on a Thursday evening in the U Club? And he said, yes, I do. I said, what's your name? He said, I'm Ray Thomas. And I said, well, I'm John Lodge. I said, I play as well. Do you fancy forming a band? (laughs) And we did. We formed a band, and uh, the band was called L Riot and the Rebels. And we used to wear Mexican outfits, can you believe? <laughs> we even bought sombreros, but they only lasted about two concerts because we lost them. Uh, we were like 16 and 17, and uh, I taught Ray how to drive a car. I passed my test first. Ray was older than me. He won't mind me saying that. Uh, but uh, I taught him how to drive, gave him his first driving lessons. So we did really grow up together. And his parents and my parents became really good friends just because of us. And they were state friends until, unfortunately, my parents died and Ray's parents died. But right up until the end, they were still all great friends going on vacation together. And Ray's children and my children have kept in touch and they are friends. I've recorded Legend of the Mind for Ray on the album. And Ray's son, Adam, has just been in touch with me and he just thanked me for keeping his dad's music alive. So, yeah, it's more than just music. It's just been a friendship. And I just have to tell you one story. Please. Uh, when we were nominated for the Hall of Fame, Ray wasn't very well, and this is sort of just before Christmas. And he rang me up and he said, Hey, John, we've been nominated for the Hall of Fame. Does this mean we're famous now? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, after all these years. <laughs> and that's Ray's sense of humor. It was a sad day because when the presentation was going to be, he rang me up and said, I'm not going to be able to make it. Could you collect it for me on my behalf? I said, yeah, of course I will. Unfortunately, he passed away just before the ceremony, but Ray will always be with me. 
John Lodge again, Moody Blues, sharing some deep stories, cats that he spent a lifetime with. And it makes you think you've written some of the songs, kinds of things that they played on the radio that you heard all the time. I'm just a singer in a rock and roll band. Well, it was a lot of different things, but the main driving force for me writing the song was uh, that period of time, late 60s, early 70s, people were sort of bestowing on us credits that we didn't have. They were saying things like, we know the answer to the universe. Uh, we're going to be flying spaceships. I mean, <laughs> I had people turn up my house uh, in England saying that I've come to get on my spaceship. And I was saying, I, actually, I don't like flying. Never mind flying in a spaceship. Uh, so it was really just to say, listen, I'm just a singer in rock and roll band. I'm exactly the same as you. And that's why at the very end of the song, I actually say, we're all just singers in a rock and roll band. It's just that some of us are on stage and some of us are out there. But that's all we are. We're nothing else. So that's where the song came from. But there are things in there I had to refer to. One was the Vietnam War, to be honest. It was the photograph of the little girl running along the street when everything was on fire. And then all the riots that people do, and really you find most of the people who are rioting, they're doing it for themselves, not for us, not for you or I. And you can quietly have a revolution. And I think music did that in the 60s and early 70s. I know when we were playing concerts in Eastern Europe at the time, you know, you had the Iron Curtain where English and American music was not allowed. But we'd go behind there and play and everyone loved it. I love music and there's a harmony and if we can spread that harmony, it's just fantastic. You have that in Hawaii. I remember going to Hawaii for the first time and I felt a real harmony in Hawaii. You know, there was something mystical, whether it was about the volcanoes, or not, I don't know. <laughs> and I think all the dancing and the music in a way it was very calming and harmonic. You know what's so cool that you brought that up? There's this guy, Steve, the mystery emailer, and he emails me the history of different bands who are going to be on the show. It was January 27th and 28th, 1974, that the Moody Blues made their Hawaii debut. Two sold-out shows at the Blaisdell Arena. A concert review in a local publication, John, named Sunbums, reads as follows... The blue stage lights turned red, the stage filled with smoke, and suddenly the Moody Blues burst into view. <laughs> yeah, and I remember that as I, yesterday. We flew in from Alaska. We flew to Alaska with Japan Airlines. I remember we landed in the snow and the windscreen broke at the plane. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> we were stuck in Alaska for two days. And then we uh, flew down to Hawaii. The windshield of the airplane broke? Yeah, it cracked. And we got stuck there in Alaska. Because <laughs> they had to fly another windscreen out. <laughs> I remember where we stayed, the Kahala Hill. Where so many bands have stayed since then. And, yeah. Uh, I met Jack Lord there, Hawaii Five-O. Wow, how did that happen? Yeah, he was at the hotel. I just went up to him and said, Jack, um, I'm John Lodge, Moody Blues, and we're doing a concert here. And uh, I just want to say, Y50 is such a big show in the UK. And I just want to say, hey, you made everybody happy. Did he get a kick out of that? <laughs> yeah, he did. A quick photograph together and everything else. And uh, that was nice. And I've been to Y a few times now for holidays. With my family, we've always had a nice time. Come over, maybe do a thing with your wine when you're not busy. Yeah, that'd be good. Where are you growing your grapes? I find areas in the world which I really love. I find winemakers. Um, we talk about wine and we blend the wine. And one of them is in California, of course, Napa and Sonoma. Another one is in Bordeaux in France. And another one is in South Africa, the Algin Valley. And it takes us around the world for another reason. That's what I'm saying. So try to write that into your, uh, say, hmm, that's a good excuse to go back to Hawaii. We'll do something. <laughs> With the wine. Yeah, we should come to a, a, perhaps a cruise around Hawaii and do a wine tasting music and wine event. It's a red carpet welcome for you, John Lodge, from the Moody Blues, beyond the very best of. And I hope you had fun talking today. I had a great time, and thank you. And yeah, all my best wishes to everyone there in Hawaii. Cheers, Dave. <laughs> <laughs>